Hello everyone, my name is Pierre Charbonneau. I'm a senior IT consultant and the author on Java e support patterns.blogspot.com. Today's video will be about a common Java programming problem that you're probably facing uh, or face in the past when writing Java programs. The problem is called java.lang no class def on error. It's a very common exception and today's video will be covering the pattern number one which is a wrong class path. For this purpose, we're going to show you a Java sample program that we created and we're going to show you a simulation on how, what type of problem uh, can lead to java.lang no class defined error more precisely when you're dealing with a wrong class path or missing libraries in your application class path. Now let's get started. So as we can see here, we created a simple Java program we created a simple Java class that we called no class def on error simulation. The Java program is extremely simple. What it does, it's a simple main method. It's actually just printing some detail about the program and then it's creating a, a class instance called color class A and then it execute a method of that class. Right? And if you look inside color class A, we added some uh, simple logging. And the only thing that this method is doing, which the method which is called do something, it's creating a new instance of what we call a re referencing class A, which pretty much does not nothing. So the goal, again, is just to show you a simple main class, creating instance of class A, which is creating a new instance of referencing class A. So the goal is to just create a, a referencing chain within these classes so we can simulate a no class def on error depending if you're uh, if you're making a mistake in the packaging. Okay? So let me show you a, a simple execution. So one thing that we added for you which was we did add some logging to show you the actual class loader detail. Um, so just as, uh, as uh, in case you're not familiar with class loader, it is very crucial that you uh, deep dive into your skill and understand the class loader. I can show you a clear example. So especially if you're developing Java application in the context of Java E specifications, it's, it's truly important to understand um, the class loader delegation model in Java, which by default, uh, which always would pretty much load the class from the parent class loader, so here you can see the JVM, which is the super class path. And then if you create Java classes from, let's say, a web application, which is uh, identified a child class loader, any Java class loaded there will go back to its parent and see if the class is loaded from there, So which is called class loader delegation. I will get back in future video about this. So for now, just keep that in mind. Uh, run, but today what we're going to cover is truly a no class def on error which is the result of a wrong packaging or missing library in uh, class path. So let's run this program. So I'm going to run this program first of all from Eclipse directly. Okay. So if you run the execution of the program, okay, so you can see it's very straightforward, right? All the logging as I mentioned, we did turn the uh, the verbose class loader. So that's why you see all these debug, right? When you turn on the verbals for the classes, the GM is going to show you um, the jar and the class that, that it's loading in the class loader, right? So at the beginning of the program, we see a simple class loader chain, which is obviously current uh, thread main context class loader. So let's not worry about this. Uh, as I mentioned, we'll, we'll get back to this in a future video. At the end of the day, what it does, it's creating a new instance, as I mentioned, right? That class is creating a new instance of color A, class A, right here, right? And then inside color class A, it's creating a new instance of referencing class A. And that's pretty much it. Normal program execution, no error. So what are we trying to prove here? Well, nothing. It's just if you're if you're running the program from Eclipse, all the proper classes are compiled and included in the execution class path by default. So technically, it will work out of the box when you're creating new classes. What we're going to show you right now is how we can simulate a no class def on error with this simple program. How is it feasible 
to get a no-class define error by running this simple program outside Eclipse or in a number application. So what we did is this. Okay, what we created here is a set of uh, classes. I'm going to show you here. So what we call was so we did re repackaging of the classes. So instead of including all the three classes of our program, we pretty much created. Uh, we we did set up the main classes in a in a class called main.jar. So if I open, you will see. An actual class I'm talking about, right? No class defense simulator, which is our main method. So we set up that class in a separate jar, the color class also in a separate jar, and the referrer in a separate jar. So all these three classes were set up in a different jar. The goal again is to simulate a no class defense error and to simulate if you're doing a mistake by omitting a proper library. This is exactly what it's all about. No class def on error means that the JVM on the, at the compile level there is a referencing of a, the, basically a, a class A referencing class B at compile time but at runtime the JVM is unable to find or to load that proper class. This is why it's showing that no class def on error. Okay? And, and, uh, and uh, omitting a uh, jar file in a class path is, is pretty much the most common type of problem. There's much more complex than that that we'll see later, but as a starting point, um, this is the most common case. So here we created a simple execution for the normal execution, similar to how it's running in Eclipse, right? So we're running Java in the class path. We, we put all three classes, all three jar files. As if you remember, each jar file contains a single Java class and then the class name. So if I run this again, similar to Eclipse, you get normal execution. The program was able to create a new instance of color class A and inside color class A was able to create a new instance of referencing class A. Again, same output as running our main method from Eclipse. So far so good, right? Now let's redo the execution this time by omitting this guy. Okay? So we're going pretty much to omit this jar file. So what it means is that at runtime, the main program will still try to execute. Color, uh, the color class will try to create a new instance here, but this guy will be missing at runtime. Why? Because we omitted this jar file. So let, let's see what type of error we're going to get. There we go. So if we look at the logging, we can see we're able to create a new instance of color class A, which makes sense because we still have this jar file. But look at the exceptions. You see? So in the color class A at line 25, as you can see here, which is exactly this line over here. When it, the program tried to create a new instance, the reference in class A, it was unable to. And we can see the exceptions, right? There was a no class not found exception of referencing class A. And then, as you can see, line 25, the JVM ended up throwing a no class def on error. It, it's quite common. You will typically see class not found exceptions followed by a no class def on error. Again, this is because that reference that reference is there at compile time, but is missing at runtime. Okay, these are two different states, right? Compile time it was there, but not at runtime. As you can see in this case, it's because we omitted that simple jar file. So you see this is exactly when you see this problem in your Java program, that exception, Java no class, always look at the class it's complaining about, determine if that class is a class from your program or is it from a third party libraries, right? Step number two. And then once you identify it, the first thing to check is your class path. 
if it's a standalone Java application, look at your class path similar to this. If if it's a, a in the context of a Java application, then this is a, obviously it's a bit more complex. But at the end of the day, it could be the same thing. You you could have let's say a year file or a war file with the wrong packaging of a library. It could be a third party missing a referencing. There's so many third party out there like Spring and so many frameworks with so many referencing uh, libraries. So it's very easy these days to get no class def on error uh, when you're missing a draw file. So always, as I said, look for this. And then you have to deep dive and identify the culprit missing class file. And as you can see in this case, when just adding the, right? over here just adding back the uh, the jar file will pretty much fix our problem normal execution you see and that's pretty much it so always remember all the rules I just mentioned I hope you enjoyed the video you will also see from the video a link to my article from my blog I highly recommend that you go through there's an entire series that they get to these exceptions with one missing article um, so I recommend that you read it and please feel free to post any comment or even including your problem case if you're dealing with a problem Java no class def on error and you're still struggling please feel free to post a comment and your problem case and I'll be happy to help you out alright so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a good day